Hi, I'm Will, and I'm a Southern California native. I live with my partner, Steve. I arrived to Los Angeles via Montreal and Toronto. We both traveled the world, and we are now exploring our own backyard. We are taking hikes to stretch our legs, and along the way, discover historical landmarks of interest. Our channel is a way to capture these moments we share, and we hope that you might like to follow along with us. Hi, we are in Glendale, and a part of Glendale I was not familiar with. This is Brand Park, and in Brand Park, we have the Brand Library and Art Center behind me, but it was once a personal home of Leslie Combs Brand. And I never knew of this person. Apparently, he was a real estate developer who was considered the father of Glendale because when he built his beloved mansion, which is behind me, it was built in 1904. This whole area was just orange groves and undeveloped land that extended down to Griffiths Park. Really goes to show you how in 1904, LA was just really just a backwater town um, back then. Mr. Brand went to the Columbia World's Fair Exposition. I'm not sure what year that is, somewhere in the late 1800s. And he fell in love with this Indian Moorish style type of um, architecture. And that's what this is based off of. So we'll have a little walk around this area. I've never been here, so I don't know if you have. You can always leave that in the comments to your memories of uh, the Brand Library. But as far as uh, Steve and I, we're going to explore the area, so let's come along. Mr. Brand hired his brother-in-law, his wife's brother, to be the architect and to design this uh, mansion. Mr. Brand, along with his wife, um, shared this mansion because they were very generous and had a very big extended family, so nieces and nephews. So a lot of the Brand family lived here at one time. And they were avid dog lovers, so much so that still in the early 1900s, they actually have a pet cemetery right on this property. So kudos to them. In 1924, unfortunately, Mr. Brand was diagnosed with cancer. And in 1925, he passed away. But in his will, he donated his mansion and the surrounding land to the city of Glendale. He wanted this area to be used for a memorial for his family and for the public works so the members and the families of Glendale have a beautiful place to enjoy. And you can tell that the city of Glendale has kind of altered this area because you could tell at one point if we turn here that this would have been the driveway as Mr. Brand and the family and guests would have came through to probably enjoy a very lovely summer holiday up here in Glendale. Here on the Brand Library, there is a statue um, called the Miss American Green Cross. And what the American Green Cross was, it was an organization that helped preserve the forest back in the 1900s. This is still during the time when the National Park Service was being developed and many lands or areas within our nation were just being cut down for the wood because obviously back then wood was the main building source. So there was people here that just um, wanted to preserve the land as it was. Here on the Brand Estates, it's actually on the foothills of the Verdugo Mountains. So I think this was a, a good area during that time where there was natural forest and they just wanted to just preserve the area and not let it just be chopped down. Some interesting trivia. This statue was actually at the Glendale High School. And in the 1920s, they moved it. Don't know why they moved it, but it was lost for 20 years. You wouldn't think something like this could, this size can be misplaced. But it wasn't until the 1950s where it was rediscovered and placed right here where we see it now. In 1969, the city of Glendale decided to invest a little bit more into the Brand Estate. They already had their library established, 
but they added on for um, some art galleries to get more people involved in recreation. But you could tell in 1969, the styles were kind of changed. It really doesn't go with this Indian style motif that we have here, but I guess they wanted to blend the old and the new together. Mr. Brand was an airplane enthusiast. He loved flying. And down here somewhere, um, it's already been uh, taken away, but he had his own private airfield. And one of the things he liked to do is, uh, because he was a real estate developer, was travel around some of his properties. He actually had property up in Northern California in the, in the Eastern Sierras in Mono Lake. It doesn't, I don't know what type of property he had up there, but he would make uh, frequent flights up there. He also, being close to Hollywood, him and his wife loved to entertain the silent movie stars at that time. They even had um, a pilot on staff just to fly people in and out because they love to entertain here at the estate. On this estate back when it was a family home, they had tennis courts and a swimming pool. So in the early 1900s, it must have felt great on a hot, 100 degree San Fernando Valley, probably no breeze, just to pull on, put on your wool bathing suit with your long black stockings and dip in the water. 